Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a freshly recorded video. Funny enough, I am on my lunch break at the moment, so I need to get this video done very quickly and out. Uh, my schedule got completely ruined. I was going to do a video today. It was going to be about the combo tracker thing. I wasn't happy with the video, the take that I did. Um, but I'm not going to be redoing that video later on after I finish work. But uh, I wanted to have a look at uh, this story about cheaters and how Kabam are going to deal with it. Uh, because there's some really, really interesting things of how Kabam uh, are dealing with, uh, with cheaters and have dealt with cheaters. So this was posted yesterday and interesting, right? Uh, last month we took action against hundreds of arena cheaters. The goal of that action was to restore competitive integrity to arena and it worked. Arena cutoffs fell substantially and those engaging in fair play were much more likely to secure the rewards they deserved, which is self-evident by a lot of the arena results that we have seen in that particular time window. I'm just trying to like get that uh, looked at now so we can have a look at some reference point. I don't know if it was a Danny Moonstar one or it was a Mantis. I think it was around that, that time. So um, where is it? Like here? Um... So Danny Moonstar 110, was it here? Or was it here around about the King Group Cable um, Arena? I think it might have been... Yeah, I think this is when we started seeing a bit of fair things and a bit of jump. Um, or was it before? It could have been before. Like a t No, it was the Adam Warlock Arena that kind of caused the stir. Then around about the Doctor Strange Mantis Arena, things got fairer. And then the Danny Moonstar started one, things started... Kind of leveling out. I want to say sort of leveling out because 102 mil for position 100. That could have been uh, when it was kind of put in. It's always good to kind of like back things up with uh, stats and information. Over the past over the past month, that competitive integrity has started to slip again. Cheaters began to return to the arena. We saw the forum posts. We saw the YouTube videos. My video might be one of them. We knew uh, these players were cheating and we did nothing to respond. Why? Because we knew the modding community was going to test our defenses with accounts they didn't care about. And as we saw earlier, it's a trap. Um, love it. Uh, and I think that's the thing. Like, I know a lot of time we can just say that. And I, I'm, I'm going to have to like be very careful when I do YouTube videos in the future to go. My take is going to have to go like, look, I know people are going to be frustrated and angry, but let Kabam try something out as they've obviously done something. We wanted them to build confidence that the changes they had made to their mods would evade our detection and then bring back online the accounts they didn't want to lose. This also worked. While cheating in a Danny Moonstar arena was sparse, the Lady Deathstrike arena saw a substantial return of modders. Not to the same extent as before the June action, but enough that we have decided to pull the trigger with another ban wave. Interesting. And let's uh, uh, let's bring up those stats. Where's the where's my information on Lady Deathstrike? Okay. So just going on that, let's bring this a bit more kind of like zoomed into shot with a Lady Deathstrike uh, arena, um, which you can see here. Like one four two mil for position two three six one two one position four oh one. If we then compare that to the Danny Moonstar. 102 position 400 so you can see there's a is that a 20 mil increase on position 400 uh quick yeah 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 so 20 mil increase for some people that's not a lot for others it's like look you know that's the difference between somebody somebody might have scored like one i don't know 119 and has missed out someone might have scored close to like 102 and missed out where you compare it with Danny Moonstar could it be a case Danny Moonstar was more was less of a champion that players wanted to go for versus Lady Deathstrike Lady Deathstrike does have some amazing qualities which are going to be you know uh, key for stuff from Battlegrounds other content fun you know you just don't know grind habits change and that's Kabam say that you know um, it's still important because it's still regardless of what you scored Regardless if there wasn't a huge amount of cheaters and modders in it, it's important to players, if you invest your time, you get something back from what you're doing. People don't go into Battlegrounds going like, oh, by the end of it, I'm going to get nothing. Oh, I'm going to get lower rewards. No, you're going into it to, to be the best you can to get the most rewards. Except for some people that obviously are doing the kind of uh, forfeiting thing or um, tanking thing, um, sandbagging thing, because I'd actually think I messed up on something I should have referred to it as tanking rather than uh, sandbagging. But look, 
that's that's a kind of a different way of looking at it. this is kind of all about cheaters and modders kind of impacting forfeiting and tanking is is not cheating anyone out of something is if anything is giving people a, an easy w which this is not what this is all about in any case back to the points back to what kabam uh, are doing about all of uh, all of this and going into the final segments of this particular forum uh, post to this end over 100 cheaters were banned today all of these bans were permanent regardless of previous cheating behavior on other factors fantastic i'm glad that kabam you know did this as i've said in the past don't cheat just don't do it right just don't do it be careful about the accounts that there's some people that buy accounts if you buy an account be wary because it could be an account built via unscrupulous means unscrupulous means basically means if they have created an account if it looks like it's got a good progression if it looks like it's got certain champions and it's done things like abyss of legends and it's only like level 50 but just don't do it just don't get involved with it in any case because we've seen the horror stories just don't get involved with it as these bans are permanent no clawbacks will be required for champions acquired in the arena their battleground solo event scores and gladius circuit ranks will be set to zero while we are unfortunately unable to zero out that battlegrounds alliance event scores during the season we believe we should be able to to so do so after this, after the season closes and before rank rewards are distributed and we'll be doing uh the uh the this where possible there were a number of borderline cases we need to investigate further once it's complete and actions is uh actions taken against these accounts featured hero rewards from danny onwards will be corrected for those promoted to the top 400 so compensation that's good Band wave and compensation. Yes, that's something that Kabam are doing. So that's good. This may take to the end of the month. Correcting these rewards multiple times would take a significant amount of the data resource. Uh, we are using a catch more cheaters. So we ask that summoners please be patient uh, with us while we try to catch as many of these cheaters as possible. Fantastic news. You know, I have been happier with kabam in the last week with where they're going as i said that there's always oh i'm not i didn't even show i didn't show that on on yeah there we, anyway so, so this may take in there's go to see the forum thread sorry my mistake there i just forgot, forgot to look up at where the uh, screen was going to be pointed so i've just talked about something that uh, was not in shot so i apologize about that but yeah um go and check out the forum thread uh, a lot of people um you know are kind of um I say indifferent with kind of like how they see Kabam and stuff. But as I said, in this last week, I've been very happy with where they're going with their roadmap for the future. And if people say, oh, they haven't done a roadmap, they, they have. If you didn't watch the live stream, they did. They went over where things would be going for the future. And it's a positive. There's some things I think will kind of, you know, disagree with people, outlining what people are interested in. Are people in inco interested in incursions? Maybe not. Are people interested where Kabam are going when it comes to like... Uh, uh stores balancing up maybe yes maybe no uh battlegrounds victory seeding and how it kind of works from being in say gladiator circuit um you know one one season to where you finish um where you start in the the next season are people interested in that maybe yes maybe no there's going to be different things for different people what they're interested in but at least sorting out the competition factors to the likes of arena where people are spending 72 hours a week not full on, but you know they're they're spending a lot of time during that seventy-two hour kind of window to get a champion, a six star, a five star. Maybe in future it'll be seven stars. You want to feel like you are getting something at the end of it, and to be cheated out of that opportunity is just terrible. And that's the thing as well. I'm going to have to give, and we all will have to give Kabam a little bit more trust when it comes to how they plan to deal with this because you can and and you know i'm you know wrong and kind of like assuming this that kabam dealing their hand you know if i've got if i've got here the uh, you know a decent hand in poker do you go hey they go everybody there's my hand people will go well there's your hand and the cheaters will go well i can easily get around that hand i just need to wait for that card or i i've got now the cards to beat it you don't you don't do you don't reveal your hand in a game of poker and that's what Kabam are doing. So yeah, I'll have to kind of um, watch out for the future as to Kabam how they plan to deal with it. But at the same time, Kabam won't say, "Hey, by the way, we're gonna we're gonna deal with it by this means." Kabam respond. Kabam uh, won't be able to kind of go, "Yeah, we're doing this," because they'll go, "Oh, hang on, um, they're gonna do it like that." But these are good. I'm glad when Kabam posts these because again, they they 
it's better to let us know that they've dealt with something, but not necessarily how they've done something. Because then again, it's like it's giving the cheaters what they want to see. But I am glad that they have come to this particular realisation. And that has been the video. I need to eat my lunch quickly before I am and get this video up. Um, uh, before I get back to, uh, I don't. I was going to go for a run, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to 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 do it. Maybe I'll, I was a slight trot because I'm a horse. Um, yeah. In any case, but. I'll leave you on that thought. But in any case, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. Have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you later on for some other content as well. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.